got the saw in the uh, mill, built me a little frame on here, didn't feel like using a ladder. Uh, going to make the first cut and then uh, just run it on top of the log after that. I uh, do want to clarify one thing right off the bat. Uh, I'm running the saw at 8,500 RPMs. I know I can make it run faster. I don't want to. It's really that simple. Uh, so please stop leaving comments about, you could run it at 10,000. You sound so redundant from all the other guys that have posted that that I don't care. Uh, this saw, is, they recommend like 9,000 as the maximum, and when I cranked it up to 9,200, it started to falter, so I backed it down. It's at 8,500. It runs well at that, and it will run for a long time at that. It will run for less time if I disable the governor and crank it up to 10,000 or 12,000 RPMs. No, don't need to do that. It'll do just fine like this. Plus, I got the rip chain on it now, so it ought to uh, run a little better than it did last time we did this. But this is, uh, at this end, this log is 36 inches across, and at this end it's 28. So uh, the saw is set, it has 36 inches between the uh, beams, so it's going to be a tight fit at this end, but that's uh, probably once we get down a little further in the cuts. Uh, this first one's going to be coming two inches underneath this, and then uh, we'll take that off and go from there. Uh, we're hooked up to my pickup truck on a chain to this cable, so if it pulls the truck, I'm worried. <laughs> but, yeah, so with that, we'll get it started and uh, start milling some log. Ah. this tight, so I'm sitting here cranking on nothing. Okay. Got my wedges. 
and decided while I was at it I'd grab my uh, earmuffs and eyeglasses because I forgot them too. Switch is in an awkward place for doing this. Yeah, it is. So about half of that was the winch pulling it through, and the other half I was pushing it because uh, the winch is really slow. <laughs> grab the other end. Where are we going with it? Baby, heavy. Yeah, I'm glad we got these. Yeah. This time. <laughs> All right, guys. Let me take you up and show you. So this half was done me pushing it, and the first half down here was done with the winch pulling it. Not a whole lot of difference, but there's certainly a lot of difference between that chain and the uh, and the regular chain. So my shadow's all in your way. Let me go around the inside. There you go. Not too bad, boy. It's pretty wood. Yes. So this thing's been down for about 18 months. And as thick as it is, it's still got a lot of green wood. It'll be drying for a while. Set it to the against the little thing the log so you don't have to get it. Oh, okay. Well, I ain't doing nothing on this end. Sorry. I don't think it's oil much from the wind salt side. Got plenty of oil there. on this one. Huh? I got plenty of oil down here. Okay.
Well guys, ah, there you go. I got it all, uh, well, <laughs> made the first, what, one, two, three, four cuts. We got three slabs over there, and I'm log stacking them, so basically they'll be just like the log, except flipped over from where it sits here, and I'll not use the first uh, piece that we cut off the top, and then from there it's gonna shape the log, but have three quarter inch spacers in it. Um, I don't know. I think it works pretty pretty good. Now, I mean, it, it, it does bog down a little bit, but then again, it's cutting, you know, 28 to 36 inches worth of solid wood. It's not uh, not like it's cutting a 10-inch log or a 16-inch log or even a 20-inch log. So, uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's a lot of wood to be cutting all at once. Um, those that were wondering, the chain has made one cut before it started cutting this, and that's uh, the one you see behind me over there. I think you can see it anyway uh, that uh, well, the, the day I put the chain on I brought it out and just cut from the end of the log down through it it was throwing ribbons of stuff everywhere it was great anyway so I got this one uh, down to this I'm going to uh, turn off the cameras for now and Will and I are gonna uh, finish cutting this up and uh, hopefully we can get it done today and I can get some photos of the log stack to throw on to the end of the video so you can see what I, what I came up with. But other than that, thanks for watching and uh, stay tuned, there's more coming. All kinds of fun stuff.